let's talk about the Georgia wide receiver core as they enter this season, preseason favorites to win the East. Do they have enough at receiver to make it happen? I'm one of the few that believe the group as an overall group, they've got enough to get it done. Terry Godwin is back, upperclassman moving to his more natural spot of slot receiver, and I'm expecting Terry to have a bounce back season and really be the leading receiver in this group. Uh, Javon Wims was a junior college transfer a year ago. He looked a little out of shape, didn't look like he knew what he was trying to do out there. I think that's all changed. He's fit now. Uh, during the spring, looked like a receiver that knew where he needed to be to catch the football. So keep an eye on Wims. Riley Ridley, to me, is the key to this Georgia wide receiving core. Flash, some outstanding skills as a true freshman last season. Of course, you know about his brother Calvin at Alabama being a star. This kid has enough to become an impact difference maker on the outside. Riley Ridley, the key to this group. I think he'll come through. Uh, some of the young guys, Jeremiah Holloman, early enrollee, flashed some skill during the spring. Keep an eye on him. Blunt, Landers, and Webb, freshmen, are now on campus trying to get acclimated. Maybe one steps up. Hey, when you include, though, Charlie Warner and Isaac Nauta and Sony Michelle into the receiving core, I think that completes it for you. Jacob Eason is going to love hitting these big targets and the little scat back Sony Michelle out of the backfield. I would include them in the receiving core. And when you look at the total package, Eason, Fromm, Jim Chaney, they've got enough weapons to get it done this season at wide receiver.